My name is Rhapsody, welcome back to Dicey Dungeons. We're going to be playing the third episode with the Thief here. That is uptick on your first turn, all your dice roll one. On your second, they roll two. Third time lucky? No. Third time you roll a three. The rules. On your first turn, all dice rolls are one, second turn two, and so on. It is important to note that on turn seven, your die are one. Ah. Welcome back, my little would-be winner. Oh, Planning yet how to spend all of that money? Private Highland, fancy yacht, new fans to tell you that you're definitely as clever as you think. Start with the Wolf Poppy just for the upgrade. Well, not the upgrade, but the piece of equipment pint. Uh, we also have trips as well as a new limit break here. That is roll three dice at the current uptick value. And uptick is increase and reset all dice. So if I then uptick. Ooh. Okay, that's great. Then I put a two and a two in there, and then next turn I three 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 kill. Oh, I can't three three three, right? Because I can't split them. Hmm. Of course, of course. That's a problem. So I can do four damage this turn. It's uptick. Then I split. Throw that in. And then next turn I should split first. <laughs> it's a very hopeful split though. Hey, got it. Okay, having control over the turn you're on for the uptick is going to make this a lot easier. Counterfeit is one of my favorite things to see. Whoa, what? Okay, hang on, never mind. It, uh, so it, it, it persists between combats? That's intriguing. It's really intriguing. All right, I'm gonna dupe this trip. Get all of them to ones, split, get all of them to twos, get all of them to threes, and then I have lethal. Beautiful. That dagger needs to be upgraded probably as a priority. Seems like that is going to be the major way that we deal a bunch of damage. How, wait, how, how well does it scale? Right? Because it scales with my lockpick being able to give me an extra die every turn. And with counterfeit, giving an extra die every... It's not that good. Mm. Alright, I think we'll fight all of these enemies before we actually do... Any more deciding here. Uh, Duper die split into two. Do you definitely go for the split? Increment, increment, <laughs> increment, and then lovely. <laughs> Enemy gets to burn some of my die as well. That's actually kind of frustrating. Can I charge trip this turn? I can if I move both of those. In fact, I will be. Beautiful, and hopefully the enemy deals some more damage to me this turn. Great, that thunder spell is going to be great. Gets us closer to our next trip, and then we only have one more fight against an enemy before the end here. Hang on. Uh... Spares are too unlocking. Oh, never mind. We do this and then dagger. Beautiful. We got it. Whew. Bye, wizard. So, is the dryad or the marshmallow easier to fight? Marshmallow has access to fireball and ice shard. It's probably easier to fight the dryad. Just because I won't have the status effects constantly going against me. Dryad's also really slow with the poison. Yeah, 
Yeah, I just need to get back to a good turn here, I think. So. Do I go 1 1 1? No, it's 2 2. Especially because, yeah, I've likely got trips this turn. Do goods. I'm probably dead. Exactly one short. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's us dead. Good work, Ryan. Ah. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Triad did roll really well on turn one, but still. Do more than 20 damage in a single turn with the dagger. You know what? Frankly, getting a... Getting a collection out of that is pretty dang worthwhile. Uh, favorite food of the pirate is... Pirates and pirates of eight. Oh, that's really bad. Pirates and pirates of eight. Delicious. Greatest fear. A pirate knows no fear. Arr. Favorite book. The book of war. Uh, what? R? How do you pronounce war? To get your R out of that, bud. Karaoke go-to is bad guy after all. I'm the bad guy. Duh. Reason for entering the dungeons is that it got lost on the way to Davy Jones' locker. We'll go for that one again, because the episode is way too short so far. Uh, how would I differently approach it? Because I didn't know if I... I don't think I got enough equipment to really have, by that point, a different approach. I guess it's just a different management of how I optic. Maybe I need to consider more thoroughly what optic value I leave it on at the end of each combat. Mm -hmm. So like I might want to delay this combat for like an extra turn. But delaying is difficult when you don't you know, block. Six, like constantly? Six, six, three is what you want? Uh, yes, we're going to do it. This gets it on a decent uptick on turn one against the next enemy. Next enemy is not the magician, it's the hothead. Okay, counterfeit. Sweet. Uh, I'm hoping to not have to use the trips here. That's it, I have twos this turn and then threes next turn. Yeah, no, I have to use it this turn, don't I? Enemy can do maximum of eight damage in a single turn. If I have to use the burning die, that is. So maybe I do just kill them next turn. Do six damage this turn and then nine damage next turn. Just using the dupes. But then the problem with that is that the uptick is really, really bad at the start of the next floor. So let's split this, dupe this, we'll then go for the uptick. Three, three, and then I'm gonna uptick just to start getting past the bad numbers. I need to have something that I can invest those high numbers into. Can you really, like, it's a lot of sixes against me so far. I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I, I've just noticed, I'm just, it's, it's not a crime to notice that a lot of sixes have been rolled against me. And frankly, I'm feeling pretty targeted right now. Cool your jets, buds. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use trips. Fine. <laughs> At least I still get 2 HP to it. And yeah, the uptick is left on a really bad number as well. So I've got to remember that 
if I want to leave the uptick on a good number, like one or two or something like that, I need the enemy on a very low amount of HP before I cycle back to that. Because then I get to one and I can only deal one damage a couple times. So unless I want to, you know, wait for another turn, it's the whole point of constantly hitting the uptick is so that I don't have to delay all of these turns. I'm just wasting, wasting a bunch of value there. So like, I would have wanted to have him on two HP and then uptick past six to one and then go for the kill. So I need to be more aggressive in my first cycle through the upticks, I think is ultimately my conclusion here. Sticky hands is not really damage. Wizard is going to be difficult for us. So I think I fight Sticky Hands, go for this, and then try and come back with some extra damage, hopefully. From something. Already a quarter to running away, unfortunately. So I dupe and I lose counterfeit. Is that better to happen now or later? Well, I guess it resets all die to the uptick value, so it doesn't matter when it happens. Splitting a die in two matters more at one, though. You do that at one, because then you get an extra die. Right? Well, no, because splitting a die in two does split it into two die anyway. It's just splitting a one, you don't lose any value. Do I care about value, or do I care about amount of die? Well, I care about amount of die, right? Because the value is already dictated by uptick, or rather can be dictated by uptick. So ultimately, I'm thinking that maybe this turn, I need to go as aggressive as possible and just go like split this into two. Dupe to get three, three. And then I need to cycle back to useful. Die. Sweet. Ooh, another five. At the very least, you're not stealing any money from me, but I don't want you to get away. Split it into, and then do you. But the important thing here is that I cannot actually uptick. The enemy cannot run away next turn, so I will have the ability to kill them overall. Just unfortunate my maximum damage is 12 on that turn. Whoa. Lovely. Split it. Dupe the one so that we can be as annoying as possible to the sticky hands there. Repays its favor. We also got two gold from the sticky hands. Interesting. Oh no, we would have gotten back the gold that the sticky hand stole, as well as one. Bump, pea shooter, and leather armor. Hmm, that's interesting. So one of the reasons bump is interesting is because you can get extra die out of it pretty easily. A upgraded bump, you put a six into it and it gives you back a six and a one. And those ones, like obviously they have a really poor value, but I can change them with uptick so I can get really good, really good effects out of them. I have to take bump and I have to prioritize upgrading bump. There's, there's no way around that. Pea shooter does give me something that I can do always to try and get some damage out there. Like it is kind of like a dagger that isn't that limited, right? Dagger does three damage, right? If I recall correctly. Is it three or is it whatever? Okay, it's maximum three, but it's whatever you put in. This does two damage with a five or a six. So Pea Shooter is effectively just usable on those higher turns on uptick. Is that better than Bump? So I'm, I'm standard sitting here looking at that pea shooter thinking it's garbage, right? Because it's usually garbage. But pea shooter upgraded becomes deal four damage.
I think, like... I think the easier one is Pea Shooter, but I think Bump is more likely to have something wacky, like some... I think Bump is more likely to become wacky and like an infinite or something like that than Pea Shooter. So for that reason, I'll be taking it over Pea Shooter. Not great reasoning. Maybe I should have fought the Baby Squid first here just so it would have been better for the Wizard. That makes sense. Okay. So... Dupe that dice. Uptick. I will get my extra one. Slip that in two as well. And then I'm happy to go until I get to two. And there's threes on the next turn. Okay. Ouch. That's, that's some bad burn right there. Okay. So I'll probably use trips this turn. Because I can start getting the next trips active by activating the different burn dice at different times. I'll dupe that. I'll split this and then upgrade one of them and then all of it's just... <laughs> wrists for the dagger mill. Ooh, actually, it's lethal. Lovely. So... With respect to calculating those things ahead of time, like, you can calculate the amount of damage the dagger would do there, but is there any other turn I would have done? No. So... There's no need to count how much damage it's going to do, because I'm still just going to be doing exactly that. Uh, Kunai. Ooh, needs a 1. Deals 2x damage. Reusable. Uh, there's also Hall of Mirrors. Plus 1 die this fight. Okay. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Hall of Mirrors is not reusable. Hall of Mirrors upgrades to be an even. We'll give you plus one die this fight. So we can just get plus one die every second turn. Well, we can get it every turn if we desperately want to. This helps us build up slowly. I think this helps us cash in quickly. I think cash in has been a problem that I've been having. I'm going to take that. Especially because Kunai upgraded seems like it's going to be real, real good. Healing Crystal's garbage. Got the baby squid for the kill. Right. Dupe. Increments. Increments. Hit that die value plus one. Split. And great. So this actually gives us something that we can do on turn one with the kunai and then turn two with the dagger and kunai in fact because i can split a two in order to get two kunai for this this is great so i get to i should also actually figure out right what is the most damage that i can generate per die Right, so a 1 deals 2 damage in a kunai, whereas a 1, 2, or 3 deals a 1, 2, or 3 in a dagger, right? So if I can get something in a kunai, it's twice as impactful. I'm going to split this in two, and then I could duplicate a 2 or a 1, right? It's two times in the kunai, it's one times in the dagger, but it's fine either way. Um... Is there anything else that I want to do? No. Same either way. Okay. So I want to get myself as high in the upticks as possible before killing this enemy. I'm gonna dupe this. You can see I already have lethal in the dagger right now. I'll attack twice. Blind doesn't matter because obviously I know this has to be a three. Then I'll uptick. Uh -huh. I'll split the die in two. Sweet. 
Okay, we got to uptick once at the very end there. Works out for us. Gather both of the heals, and then I'm just beelining it straight to an upgrade next floor. If leather armor was reusable, I would have taken it. Yeti for the upgrade. Yep, that's our beeline. Am I happy to use trips in this? The enemy freezing my dice doesn't seem bad. It seems really good. I don't think I should use trips at all. That'll get him. Ooh. Good rolls. It's maximum damage the enemy can do. The highest odd. Right. So split that into two, I guess. Doesn't matter if I bump or not. Oh my gosh. You really gotta lay off on that damage there, bud. I, I'm hurt. So three is probably located in that dagger, definitely. Duping a three is the most, yeah, the most damage I can get out of the dupe. Most damage I can get out of the lockpick is an extra one for the kunai. And I can't get anything out of bump right now. It's fine. Do I trips? The enemy can't kill me next turn. I don't. I think I need the trips at the start of the combat after this. Uptick. I'm gonna uptick again. Gives us a six. I'll increase that value on the die, split it into, and then duplicate it. Yeah. So this leaves me with the turn one at the start of the next round. That's what we should be doing to end fights more commonly. Yeah, unfortunately not hugely enthused by my HP position. Slingshot, add four to poison. That good. Like, we can do it. It gives us something to dump high stuff into. Healing Crystal. Recover 3 HP. Maybe I need to take the Healing Crystal over even the dagger into this next combat. Like, everything becomes ones, or I do nothing with it. That's harsh. That's really harsh. I probably drop Bump for Poison Slingshot if I do that. Because then I have something to dump non-ones into. I also have to figure out exactly how effective incrementing the turn counter is and whether or not that's actually something I should even consider doing. All right, let's look at these upgrades. Lockpick. On a six, split into three. So, is that important? On a six, split into three. Well, that's an extra die for us every turn. Because we probably, probably, I guess every other turn it's an extra die for us. Uh, bump being upgraded also would be huge. Actually, bump is the most important, isn't it? Actually, counterfeit being upgraded gets me bump on the field right now, but I guess I'm okay with changing my equipment as well. Hang on, hang on. We need to, we need to completely rethink this from the ground up. Now, I do only need to fight the Dryad in order to be the world's healthiest, but... The Dryad can be pretty annoying. We do have poison as a thing that we have to contend with. So I feel like... Oh, God, that's hilarious. Uh, I feel like what I need to do is definitely have Healing Crystal on there. Poison Slingshot doesn't make any sense because the Dryad is uh, like good against poison. So take those and that and that. So unfortunately, this means I've cut the Dagger entirely out and I can only attack with the Kunai. But uh, I think... 
Actually, I upgrade counterfeit and then I fit dagger back into the build and I'm okay. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Thankfully, I do have Fury ready. Sorry, Fury. My limit break. So trips ready. So large part. What I specifically wanted to do here. Uh, okay. Put you in two. So I now have seven out. Seven is 14 damage to the enemy with the Dryad. Uh, let's dupe that. So if the enemy rolls three sixes next turn, they can kill me by booing uh, the Poison Slingshot and the Venus Flytrap at the same time. But as long as I heal anything this turn, they can't kill me with the Venus Flytrap this turn. And then I need to be able to kill them next turn. That's the big problem. I can't get trips up before I lose. Hmm. I don't know. So I can get eight more damage right now, just straight up against the Dryad, but I could take six of it, bump a one and get a healing crystal. So then I end up with 2 HP after the enemy launches their 6 next turn. They have 12. I roll 3 die at the start of the turn. All of them are 2s. I duplicate one of them. I bump one of them. I end up with 6, 9. I end up with exactly 9 damage available. Uh, so I'm short. Does the split help me next turn? The split does not help me next turn. No, it does. The split helps me next turn uh, as long as next turn is turn two for the sake of the kunai. I've got this. I don't roll three sixes. The most that that can get me is two, three. Uh, yeah, I split this. One, two. Then I add to this die value. I dupe it. My gosh. Oh, I was so tight at the very end. You think you can beat the trees, do you? Feeling good? The trees will wait and eat you gone. <clears throat> the trees will wait and they'll eat you when you're gone, mate. The trees will always win. Woo! That's the extra diet. We're all good again. And we have all of this extra HP. Lovely. Uh, hopefully, there's an upgrade to that shop as well. Get that bump upgrade and then just go off. Bump upgrade and lockpick upgrade and then... Oh my gosh. Life is ridiculous at that point. Dupe. I'll also split. That split effectively just getting me a one that I can put into this kunai. Now the dagger actually upgrades to be maximum of four, doesn't it? It might be the most priority upgrade. I actually also didn't check what kunai gets on upgrade. I suspect it might get just like a flat extra damage. And if it does, that's the most important thing we can do. Increment, increment. I'll go dice value plus one and then dupe.
Lockpick gives me a die back, but I have to invest a die in order to unlock it, so it's not actually efficient or effective. I have healing outside of this fight anyway, so. That said, I might not have enough healing to... Actually, I only have 14 points of healing outside of this fight, so never mind, I don't have enough healing to deal with all of this. How dare you. Uh, dupe and a split. Please upgrade. I'm working on a new slogan for the shop. Spend your coins here. There's literally nowhere else. What do you think? I think the poison needle seems decent. Uh, crowbar, reduce the countdowns on all equipment by amount. We don't have, yeah, we don't have countdowns on our equipment. Uh, I guess save the poison slingshot, but I'm not gonna really be using those. There's the bandage there for healing on odds one HP. It's reusable. That, to me, seems the only way that I would ideally want to heal in this deck. Uh, I suspect I will buy that. And then just replace the healing crystal with it. Because my entire idea with this deck is now just get as many ones as possible. And then if you haven't got ones, get back to ones. You should be using ones. Two upgrades on this floor. Ooh, yeah, somehow I feel like not getting that. I really wanted to get two upgrades on this floor. Lockpick gets upgraded as well as bump, and then uh, who knows? We might actually have some sort of a chain there that infinites. I'd be surprised considering, you know, they're not reusable, but <laughs> it'd be nice. You can dream. Do this. Uh, I'll split this into two, incrementing that. And trip. Great. This enables the Super Sneezy to just help fill up my trips. Uh, 12 HP? I probably take damage on the first turn of the next combat anyway and then kill. Alright, we should be fine. We should be fine. Uh, split in two. Hey, I did get a one, so I'll just dupe that and go for the Kunai kill. Please, just one upgrade. Just one upgrade in the store. I just need to see what Grunai's upgrade is. Ah! Uh, hookshot, next equipment has plus one use this turn. So I have to invest a two, but I can get an extra usage of something. So the only way that benefits is because I'm inputting an extra die. Uh, uh, I've been saying I'm trying to just say dice as the game is using, but I can't even stay consistent. Uh, uh, you put in one extra die and you get back probably only one extra one, right? Like counterfeit gives you a die per usage. And you have to use a die in order to get an extra usage of it. So that's one in, one out. You're not getting a benefit there, right? Obviously, you initially get the benefit out of counterfeit, but you're not getting a benefit out of uh, hookshotting it. So it would have to be hookshotting like an upgraded lockpick, because that splits a six into three. Then you are actually getting a surplus of dice as a result. But you have to have one piece of equipment that just gives you one surplus of dice on a single turn. Yeah, it's not meant for this build. I think that's meant for builds like, you know, giant, giant, single things that you want to hit multiple times in a turn rather than as a assistant for a breaking kind of thing. Unless, you know, it upgrades to say reusable or something like that, in which case, okay, hookshot is suddenly incredible. Unfortunately, we won't know if that's the case. Uh, Midnight Charm roll 2-6 is hilarious. Uh, Magic Spear as well. So if we wanted to, we could try and heavy pivot right now kill two extra enemies on this floor and buy out the shop two extra no there's only there's only two cool okay uh buy out most of the shop 
No, but I can buy out the shop. It's only six. So you'd buy out the shop, and then the whole goal would be getting a two in the hook shot and charging up the Midnight Charm to Magic Spear twice in a single turn, 20 damage every single turn. How likely is it that I would be able to do that? Maybe it's time to pivot. Because the only... Like, these are all half size, so... Oh, not that hard to hold. Let's theorize what the build would be with that. Counterfeit has to be part of it, right? Counterfeit is already pre-upgraded as well. Bump, super useful as well as part of it, probably. Uh, then we would take those three and lockpick. I think that's the perfect pivot for the boss. However, is it the perfect pivot right now? Is that where I go? So let's think about the Rhino Beetle. The Rhino Beetle locks our die as well as deals maximum 8 damage in a single turn with the Headbutt. And the locking of the die is a countdown of, I think, 10, maybe 12. I think it's 12, actually. Uh, to deal 5 damage and lock one die. Locking one die for us is pretty annoying, but eh, could be significantly worse as any other character. Um... Although resetting the die might unlock them. I suspect it won't because it didn't unburn die when I reset them with the uptick, but you know, it's possible it interacts in a different fashion. So then we'd have the magic spear. Using that twice a turn. How likely is it we use that twice a turn? How do I manipulate to get a hook shot every single turn? Well, if I split anything i should be able to end up with either a two or a one and i can upgrade a one on bump in order to become a two so i can trigger a hook shot pretty easily uh i'd put two sixes obviously in the magic spear the midnight charm doesn't have time to be upgraded so i would probably be using like three die in order to make a uh a magic spear uh, the two sixes for the magic spear so if i'm Using that to make two sixes for the Magic Spear, I don't have to do it on turn six, but obviously I want to do it on one of the higher uptick turns so that I can more easily fulfill the countdown of Midnight Charm. So I don't even need to consider Magic Spear as part of the chain. Just consider, can I fund both Midnight Charm and Hookshot every single turn, no matter what I roll, just with the rest of my equipment? With the duplicate and bump in the deck, as well as the lockpick, I suspect yes. So for that reason, I think I do pivot to that at the very end. Is it better against the Rhino Beetle? Is the question I was asking myself there, and then I confused myself and stopped asking, apparently. Uh, I think it will be better against the Rhino Beetle. I think I pivot right now. So what the first thing I said when I encountered all of that was, was, oh, I'm going to have to kill the rest of the enemies this floor, and then I can. Uh, so I clearly forgot the start of all of that, and uh, forgot the fact that I need the two more gold before I could even do it. So <laughs> let's go do that. Kraken is going to be a real rough time. Up, tick, plus a bump. This is an extra... Put that in two. Give it a dupe. And now we're off to the races. 10 damage turn one isn't bad, but again, like Magic Spear does that just with a single trigger, and that's very reliable. Oh, what? You got that off on turn one. At the very least, you didn't also roll the, the big headbutt, because... Oh, I would have been mad. Oh, I would have been so mad. Split that into two, but we plus that one and then dupe it. It's the most damage we can get out of this turn. I probably don't want to trips here just because I do have the Kraken in the next fight and the Kraken is really bad. Yeah, I feel like I don't want to trips for that reason. Can I kill the enemy this turn if I trips? Because I think I save enough HP to make it worth it, actually, if I do. 
So it trips, that's three more die. Uh, I get four total with the also counterfeit. So four by eight is 32. We're actually overkilling. Right? We are overkilling, right? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we can't go for the overkill. Oh, wait, can we? Can we? Yeah, uh, okay, we can. So we lock click to split. We get a one that can go into the kunai. But that's not enough to kill. Dang it. I was trying to find a way to hit. Oh, never mind. We have a one that can go into the bandage. And then we can still put everything back up into dagger. All right, so we do get a little bit of health out of there. I was trying to find a way that I was going to be able to eke out health as well as go for the kill. I only got one, but I'm not certain if that could have been more efficient. I hope not. Blight? So that's an interesting thing. We saw Crowbar last floor. And a run that can get both Poison Slingshot and Blight and Crowbar... Ooh, I'm super into that. Unfortunately, the crowbar is no longer here. No. Definitely not. Especially considering uh, the recent encounters we've had with Catastrophe uh, being... Well, very titular <laughs> with respect to its effect on my run. Uh have to get past these ones. Mm -hmm. Ooh, no, oh, no curse. That's not only no curse, but only one overwhelm. That's a really good turn for us. Really, really pleased to see it. Let's, uh, Split that in two. I'll also bump this one and then dupe that. Getting myself two threes in the dagger and then two ones in the kunai and two twos back in the dagger. Right. Uh oh. That's a harsh turn. Overwhelm! 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 It's entirely possible I die next turn as a result. Uh, okay, so if the enemy, what, so the maximum damage the enemy do, does next turn is six, seven, and eight. Six, seven, and eight is, uh, <laughs> 15, it's 21. I would have to block, I would, I, sorry, I would have to gain eight life this turn in order to guarantee that I don't die to just three overwhelms next turn. That's me using all of my resources just on bandages. I can't do that. Otherwise, I just die to the Kraken later. So instead, I have to assume that the Kraken is at most hitting two overwhelms next turn, the six and the seven, and just play as though they're not killing me right now. Also, I do just play to as much damage as I can possibly do. So what is the most damage that I can possibly do right here? It is a split on the lock. Oh, not a split, that one. Actually, never mind. I can test which is the one. There we go. That's the kunai. So then I plus one there. And then I currently have 12 damage out. I'll duplicate. I have 15 damage out. And that's the maximum that I can do. So I don't need to hit bandage because either I'm dead regardless or... So now it's just... I, I am blind, but I'm not cursed? I thought it was cursed. Oh, okay. Much appreciated. I'm going to split that into two. And kill him with the kunai. Goodbye, Kraken. <laughs> yes. All right. I'm feeling like I'm... I feel, I'm feeling like I'm getting there, you know? Oh...
I understand. Backstab now. Adds plus one on each item usage. All right. Let's let's think about this. I roll in a normal turn. I believe four die. Right? Do I get an extra die every level? No, I don't get an extra die every level. I think I roll four die. So, imagine I roll four ones on turn one. I can duplicate, I can split, and I can lockpick. Sorry, split is the lockpick. I can duplicate, split. So, I have six ones on turn one. Three of them go into backstab. And then two of them go into incrementing my uh, turn. One of them goes into bump and comes back. So what, backstab is six damage in a turn. Pretty reliably six damage every single turn. I don't know if that's as good as upgrading Magic Spear. I don't think it is. Hacksaw would be for Kunai. It's for Kunai. I think I take the upgrade equipment and I go with the, the Magic Spear. Kunai would be a max of two? That's actually bad. I don't like that that much. Like, I, yeah, sure. That makes your turn two much better. Uh, but... Like, I guess it does make your turn two that much better. Okay, Dougie, Dougie does just get plus one rather than being max of four. Okay, never mind. Okay. Let's have a look at the backpack. There's the magic spear. Upgrades to get four more damage. That's eight more damage in a single turn for us. No deal. Let's go back and pick up the Midnight Charm. Mm -hmm. Set myself up with the Bump, Counterfeit, Midnight Spear. Uh, sorry, Magic Spear. A Lockpick, a Hookshot, and Midnight Charm. I mean, obviously, it depends on the enemy next law. Oh. I have to be entirely honest with you. I thought we were about to fight a boss. I thought we were done. I was, I was ready to piece it. All right. Well. Hmm. That Midnight Charm needs to be upgraded, but I can upgrade it literally after this fight. It's incredible. Uh, okay. Split that into two. Hey, I got a two. Great. But then the hook shock. You can see exactly where I'm about to go with this one, right? Dive value plus one on the bump. And I'm just gonna... Excuse me? Did I screw something up already? Did I... Did I double the duplicate from Hookshot or something? Oh. Did I? Did I mess something up? I have to have, right? So. What did I do? Uh, okay. I think my goal here should be one in Midnight Charm. I'm going to duplicate that as well. Uh, and then just try and get past, like, the next couple of upticks. Freeze two of my die, and that's fine. I actually like it a couple of ones. Because then I can split there. Plus one. Next equipment has plus one use this turn. Okay, so I put that in there, then I hook shot. Magic. Magic. Ah, there we go. Okay, we figured out how it goes, and it... It goes. It bops. I don't... I don't have difficulty charging it, though. 
do I need Midnight Charm upgraded? Well, Midnight Charm, when it's upgraded, halves its cost. And as a result of halving its cost, it gives me the ability to use only one die to get the Midnight Charm. That helps me cycle back uh, to the right things really, really easily. That said, you know, Midnight Charm saves me one die, but upgrading Bump gets me an extra die as well. Also, I do want to see what Hookshot actually upgrades. Actually, let's see what's... An even. Not needing to get that to a two makes it really easy to use lockpick and bump and counterfeit for other sources. I think I hookshot. Yeah, I upgrade hookshot. Removing that limitation gives us so much more that we can do with the rest of our dice. As well as the fact that like when that Midnight Charm is upgraded, just Hookshot, Magic Spear, and Midnight Charm, they are enough for one another. I like Counterfeit can stay in there as well, but Bump and Lockpick are no longer needed at that point. In fact, it could be argued Bump and Lockpick are not needed at this point. That said, they'll help us, you know, fix the bad turns, so it's okay. Aha, rotten apple, you tried to you tried to get me with that mimicry though. To heal up before the paper knight because paper knight can be rough. I don't have any fire in the entire deck as well. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Some fresh sixes there. Uh, let us split this into two. I'll charge my hook shot. So I can double magic spear. And then my goal is just uptick as much as possible, right? So do that. Tick number one. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, I love this build. So the enemies do get to hit us, but they hit us exactly once and then you lose. <laughs> well, not when we're double locked. Can I kill the enemy without it? No, because I can't charge Midnight Charm this turn, right? Counterfeit. Yeah, it's, it's not happening like that. Okay, I have to trips. I'll also put a four in uptick just to see if it does replace. It doesn't replace the lock dice. Okay, good. Oh, right. Duplicate just got used two times there. That's my bad. It's entirely my bad what just happened there. Oops. So reuse the equipment this turn. Wait. It's not Fury. Why did it just double do the same effect? Rather than leaving the duplicate on the board to get used again. that. One, two, three. Good shot. I've, I've got Magic Spear after this anyway, so I want to see what happens. Like, Okay, so Bump just stays there. So it was only counterfeit that it specifically decided to double activate rather than just refresh? That seems strange. Nudge Blade. Do damage, get a new dice of a little value. And a two. How is that useful for us? Could it? Why would I want... Like, for a full size as well, why would I want a lower? I guess maybe if I was super about the kunai, but it's only one extra for the kunai every turn, unless it's, you know, repeatable. Wait. Let's roll those two sixes. Then I dupe a six. One of the evens. And 
and this will help us tick through as much as possible all the way back great all right i'm very pleased that i've eventually cottoned on to the end of your turn being the right time to try and leave yourself in the perfect position beautiful also it does look like i killed a rotten apple this turn lovely uh so we'll uptick both of those There anything else I can do this turn, right? No, because I have to... I have to have these sixes by the time I kill that magic spear. And I can't uptick and still have those sixes. Right? Hang on. That's plus one of this dice value. Getting an extra die back. Then I'll split as well. I'll dupe a six. I'll hookshot, do the first magic spear. Yeah, there's no way I get back to damage after this, right? Oh, no, wait. No, I can uptick once. Right, there we go. Eh, better than nonce trying to figure out what I saw in that play and it was the very smallest optimization. Okay. At the very least, starting at one gives us the ability to split. Right, but we always can. We've got, I've got to remember, I'm splitting the value as well as the dice, but the value split doesn't matter because of uptick. I guess we don't need to dupe yet. Okay. Need to think about this just a little more. So if I uptick, I can duplicate a dice. Yeah. Right, I uptick, I duplicate, oh, sorry, I plus one to a four, I added a five, I duplicate it, I get two fives, those become two sixes from the Midnight Charm, and my final four goes into a hookshot. So we uptick, plus one, dupe, Midnight Charm first, so that the hookshot doesn't interfere, even, and then Midnight Speed. It's really important that no matter what uptick I start on, I have the ability to do that. Because that's the O- Oh, damn it. Curse. All right, that's bad. That's bad. Uh, I need it to trigger on either lockpick or bump. Great. Because we just have lethal as a direct result of that. And we even get to get the trips. Lovely. Inside every adventurer is a skeleton waiting to get out. I'm afraid I'm keeping mine inside at the moment. And hope to through the rest of this lantern gain two X's next turn once per battle. Once per battle? I don't think it's necessary at all. I think also I'm not gonna like change any of the other pieces of my equipment. This build has proven itself very effective. Thief versus Buster. Uh, Buster only burns my die. It's just a damage race. So this is exactly what I go in with. Buster is strong against fire. Oh, I was asleep, but I can be awake. Wait, 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 hang on. No, no, no. Cause you were supposed to be a friendly pet dragon. Hello, hello, I'm awake, that's fine. Ooh, look at this turn right here. You gotta love it. Uh, I can get my Midnight Charm ready for the next turn. Happily. Uh, okay. Dupe that. Get an extra die. I'll make that have an extra shot on the magic spear. Split that into two. 
Can I cycle back around and then use Magic Spear? I think I can. If I put that in the Midnight Charm, I end up with six back. I put one in Uptick. No, I have to use Trips if I want to do that. But if I use Trips next turn, I can just set the Uptick to whatever I want anyway. Never mind. I just go for Kill this turn then. Uh, and then I'll Uptick as many times as I can afford after that. Never mind. We were fine the entire time. It's just I had to make sure that I had a six after the magic spear. I think I was confusing it with a previous uh, fight where... Oh my god! Buster! Ouch, Buster! That really hurt, Buster. Um, I yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna ignore using any of those burn and die. How about no one knows? I don't even need to uptick. Like, next turn is better for me as it currently stands. All right. Good gosh, Buster did a real number to me on the first turn right there. But at the very least, we're going to be able to clear him up at the end. Lovely. Oh, you just got to love the double magic spear every single turn build after you manipulate the die a billion times. Hi, hi, it's me again. I'm on my second warning here, so let's make sure I get this right. I meant to say, spin the wheel to see if you win. And don't say anything about it being rigged. And don't leave that last pet out loud. Does that sound right? I hope so. I love being able to see you if you win an episode. Oh, I love being able to see you as well. You're adorable. Okay, there's a hell of a lot of heart in it. Okay, now I meant to say you lose, but sounds sympathetic, right? That is the third of the thief now completed. For the moment, my name is Ben Rhapsody, the name of the game. Nicely dungeons. I believe in enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.